Hi, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon product listing using an AI tool, which can be really, really helpful when you have no idea how to write a copy. So let's check out our power listing for merchant words. A um, pretty cool tool. I'm going to show you step by step on how I'm using this tool to create um, a listing. All right. So first, of course, you have to like sign up and I think there is a free plan or free trial. Um, so just go and check them out. I think it's pretty. easy to use it's very straightforward so what you need obviously you need to have some sort of product idea you may already um, ordered it from your supplier so what you should have done is a little bit of keyword research make sure certain keywords are in here um, if you have done that then you can um, obviously I always combine a lot of tools together so I'm going to use um, my Helium 10 keyword tracker, which I really like. I put all these keywords in here, I check them, see which ones are important for me and which ones maybe not. And I also do know which um, uh, products are relevant, like which are my main competitors. I'd like to know that. And I need to also have this for this tool because what the tool is basically doing is um, pulling keywords out of existing listings that you popped in here and creating based on those keywords and phrases that I find in other and other listings creating your own listing so what you need to do is you give this um, like a little um, headline that's your project then this is for the US market and then we go I don't have a brand nope I don't in case you have a brand you would obviously put it in here and then you can decide if it's somewhere and you can see um, up here and it's like this little um, star and that tells you which is things you have to pop in with things you don't so let's keep going and now this is the type of product what is this and in my case it's um, a first period kit for girls pretty cool then I have to put my ASIN in if you don't have an ASIN you don't need to put it in if you have one great um, so we don't need to have one and now chooses based on this keyword it chooses other products i already have a few in my keyword talk you see i've up a lot of ones here if you're not sure which keywords you should go for then i do suggest you just click over here to the far right where it says uh, amazon and it will show you what pops up so you can see here a uh, feminine hygiene product is obviously very broad and if you're not sure if this is relevant for you i popped it in here because eventually it is relevant but it's actually not super relevant for me because if you click on it then you will see that there are just a standard conventional uh, products individually popped up where for me it's more important that i start ranking for a kit and also that this tool is writing a product for my kit rather than um just any a specific product right so if you're not sure you click on here you can always go over here to the far right and have a look and then it also helps once you've done this so let's say you go to your uh, first period uh, first period kit for girls which is the, the second main keyword and you can see it's kind of quite a trend and then I filtered this by revenue and you see that there's obviously a lot of individual like just panties and stuff in here. But there's a few of um, the products that are similar to mine, like this one here. And those are the ones that I will add to my listing. And if you don't have any idea, then I suggest you do that first. You want to make sure who is my competition, who do I actually compete on. You can also do obviously all the research you do now before you start listing or why you're listing will help you run with your launch and your PPC as well. So you see here, and they also have a few suggestions. So this was one that we just saw make like seven grand. You do want to compare, you would do want to add competitors that actually make some decent money. Um, that's the same one. And that was one. Then you see this one that's a big one and i do like the pricing they don't make a huge amount of money yet it just launched but they have a good price which is more my price point um here is another one and if they don't come up with more great ones because all these other ones here that's not that bad oh that was in there that's just a napkin holder and then you see you have these sample kits which we can't use and then we just that's what I meant before so you need to be quite sure and then there might be a few more that we want to add that we just copy now so we got this one in 
and I marked a few here before already. Mm. Entering a few more manually. Okay. And next, and that's it. So I just want you to do at least five. Um, if you have, the more you have, the more it makes sense. So you can obviously add a few more um, if you like. And this is now where you put your main key within or your main features of your products. So you can obviously put in what kind of set it is, um, how many products you have in there and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And again, I use my keyword tracker for that. So I'm going to pop a few bits in here. So for example, it's a pack of 20. Hole in one, pack of 20. That's pretty cool because most of the other ones don't have that. Um, what else is in there? Height packs are uh, included, which is pretty cool. That, yeah, fabric pouch. And we have there we go and then you do have a few things that you may have to remove so certain things that you can't use especially when we're here in the health section um, there will be some keywords in there that will cause you trouble things like FDA approved for example you don't want to pop this in here or even here um, hypoallergenic just because um, those could be keywords that trigger the algorithm uh, as forbidden keywords and then you are forced to show off why I'm here and then they ask you for all these um, certificates that can be a bit tricky um, but generally I would say we don't use this one but all the other ones seem pretty good. Awesome. And now we want this to, what kind of tone you want to give it. And this kind I of want this to be um, friendly, not too adventurous, not too professional. Because we're also talking to teens. So some teens may buy us that by their own. And then you can see, okay, cool. Um, so they're doing this now for me. Uh, we have to wait a little. What's going on? Text, text, text. And here they're creating the listing, which is pretty cool. So in the meantime, like I said before, I highly, I strongly suggest that you do know your competitions so or you copy them in your keyword and you create your keyword tracker, uh, which is so, 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 so helpful. So you can see here, I'm tracking all my keywords. And yes, there are quite a few. I think there are like over 100 here. Um, some products I'm tracking two, 300 keywords and not every. Um, so you want to pop all these ones in here and track them. And that way you can also later on start boosting them to say, well, how is my rank going? You can um, see your current organic rank. You will be able, if you start running advertising, you can see your advertising rank. You can see here, we can't see that right now, but um, I'm just going to. Okay, so I just had to reload the page and then you can see that your, your CPR is in here too, which gives you a good indicator on how hard it is to start ranking. So we obviously have always a combination of relevancy um, and hard to rank, right? If, you, if it's super relevant, but it's also super hard to rank, then it may not be a keyword you should target in your launch campaign, but a bit later um, and you start targeting keywords that are just easier to launch. So you can always filter here. And then again, you see this one is obviously a tough one. This is not super easy to rank for either. But then you, you see there's a huge, it's, not, it's actually just a thousand difference, but the CPR is much lower. So it's obviously much easier to rank for this one than it is for that one. Even so, this has a few more competing products. But I'm already uh, on rank 90 here for this one, which is great, which means I'm on somewhere on page two, maybe the bottom of page two. So if I actually start running some advertising campaigns for here and start having my first sales, I can get quite quickly onto page one, which would be awesome. And because period kit is also part of first period kit for girls, if I start ranking for this one, get sales for this one, which is easier, I also get some plus points for this one, which is then obviously great. So in combination, uh, you see quite quickly that you can move up. So that's what we want to take care of in our listing and also in our launch campaign. So let's check what's going on here. Has it happened? Almost, almost done. Yes, because I'm obviously depending on 
um, how many keywords are in those other listings and takes a bit longer. Generally, I would say it doesn't take longer than five minutes, which is pretty good. I'm quite happy to wait five minutes for somebody to create my listing for me. And the next step for us will be, we're going to get um, five different options um, for title, bullet points, description, and search terms. We can obviously still make changes. We can manually add keywords. We can choose the title from one and then uh, the bullet points from a second option. We can um, obviously type in stuff. We can change the order of bullet points and stuff, however we feel that makes sense. And um, I think most of the time the listings that we, the, the result from this from this listing tool here is pretty good, especially if it's a product that's already quite popular on Amazon, like something like this, like these period kits, they will be quite popular. There is quite a few keywords, quite a few listings on there, which will help you if you, all right, so here we go. Um, okay, so you can see now here we have all these different options. We got five, it tells you the search term, it tells you the keywords have been found. You can also download and copy these keywords, which some of them are just individual words, um, as you can see here. So it's not too much in phrases, which is a bit different than um, Helium 10 works. So you need to always just, that's why I like to have a little combination. And then it comes up here. First period kit for girls, teenagers to gift, cotton. And then you can see, I'm not a big fan of the title. Attack the second option. Celebrating, celebration, convenience to go, time, there's a few things in there. Hmm. Okay, so I would probably choose the first one and then just change a few bits and pieces, which is important for me. Like I obviously want to make sure that people see I got 20 pieces in there where all the other ones maybe are just six or ten so 20 is big which also justifies my price quite quickly so people can see that and i probably would say it's a first period side a kid with pouch um six reusable pads heat packs and stuff like that so people can quite quickly see oh cool that's that's got everything that i need and then i start with the bullet points so i find the bullet points are pretty good to untake so here we go all in one all essentials don't have to worry that's great so that's kind of exactly what we when I discussed um, in my last copywriting video where I'm saying clearly tell the person the, the benefit, what's the benefit of it, right? You want to make sure they see why they should buy, what's in them, what's in there for them. And here it clearly says everything in this essentials, you don't forget anything, you prepare at any time, which is great. Heat packs helps you with your ease, your pain, your teenager, your little girl, you know, won't have any trouble anymore. So that's pretty cool. So I do like generally like the bullet points a lot, and I also often like the um descriptions a lot. The title is a bit of a tricky one, so I suggest we take over here. So that's the cool thing. So you can just yeah, that takes a little time. So you go through individual bits and pieces, and now go here and say, Yeah, cool. So obviously we don't have 10 bunks. That's not part of it. So you obviously need to know what's in your own product. And that's what I mean. If you choose these other items, then obviously it will look what's in their kits and will put them also in your listing. So you need to be um, quite accurate um, in choosing the individual wording and you do want to read through it. So this tool is great. And like I said, it does 80% of the work. But now it's time for you to go into every single bullet point, see what it's written and make um, slight changes. Okay, so um takes a little to go through everything. So I changed the title a little bit um, and just put in here a few more keywords and try to make it sound a bit nicer. Same goes for the bullet points. So I removed the big um, all caps because Amazon doesn't really like that. I tried to make a nice um, lead in how copywriters call it, like, you know, hydrogen pouch, convenience on the go, relief cramps. It's all important because that's obviously one of the features of our heat packs. So that nobody else has. So we take this heat bags, no more embarrassing surprise. That's, I think that talks to a lot of women, um, especially also young girls and daughters and stuff like that. So um, that's quite a nice thing. So just have a nice lead in and speak from their thoughts, right? Solve their solution. Nobody wants to sit in school and suddenly have accidents and, and they're not prepared. So something like that will really, really help them. And then you have a description where in this case, I find it quite important to actually say again, obviously you want to have your images where you're hopefully going to say, this is what I'm included, but you do want to like um, pop this in here as well in case people just want to read through this as well. And then your back end keyword that you can 
just pop individually here. So you don't need to put starter or kids in here if you've already used it a few times. You can use other keywords like even some Spanish keywords. I know Amazon keeps saying some of you don't need to do that, but mm, I'm big. I'm, I'm not convinced about that. So you can do um, some, something like period or, or um, primer and stuff like that because we don't need to put um, kids and starter kids because we already got that. So if you put um, primer, um, and this is what I have also obviously in my uh, keyword tracker where things like that tell me those. Puberty is a nice word. Um, Tain, school, stuff like that really, really help. And most of these things will be quite um, nice. There was something in here that said cup. Um, personally, I like to avoid that because people who are looking for a cup um, are generally not the same audience that look for these kind of products. So you want to make sure that just because it's suggested doesn't mean it's correct. And um, it's the same as if you're selling, I don't know, um, ceramic cups. You can obviously put plastic cups in here, but people who buy plastic cups buy them generally for a different reason. So if you then start showing up for the plastic, you probably have a really low CTR or definitely not going to have the same conversion. Uh, once you start ranking for your initial great keywords, then you can start um, showing up for substitute but at the beginning I wouldn't waste my money on those because you want to make sure with your keywords that you target the right audience I hope that makes sense and the next thing you only need to do is go onto Amazon and uh, pop all these things in there copy and paste if you want to have your descriptions in the nice um, HTML and how HTML uh, as per se is not allowed anymore but you can still use the breakpoints which is fine if you don't know how to do that um, by yourself which is just the the little arrows in the P. If you feel uncomfortable, just use any HTML editor, copy this in there, make it nice. Don't um, use anything else, HTML, so no strong, no move-ins, no nothing. And then just pop it in into Amazon, hit the save button and you're good to go. I do recommend that you do this very, very early in your days. Um, just in case, especially for products like this, you may get some hazmat reviews or stuff like that. So watch my video on how to solve that. And um, please download it just because you have always some sort of um, hard copy um, somewhere in case you have to delete and redo because you have to overwrite something with a flat file. So I hope this was helpful. Personally, I really like the tool. If you have no idea about copywriting, I think it's a really good starter um, to just make something sound nice and cute without having to put too much effort in your own mind because copywriting can be quite difficult especially if you're not a native um, english speaking person um, let me know your thoughts on this tool and if you've tried it that would be great to know thank you